Welcome back to another Google AdMob Developer Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to verify a proper integration of your mediation adapters with AdInspector. Let's get started in the Adapters tab. For this example, I've got three adapters and one custom event. My list includes ad sources requiring SDK implementation, which I've set in the AdMob UI. This is where you'll see the ad source name, the version information, and initialization status. For custom events, you'll also see the label you assigned it in the AdMob UI. It's possible you may see failures with your adapters. For this example, my Triceratops network and my custom event are both failing with the error adapter not found. Adapter not found happens because the Google Mobile Ads SDK can't find the adapter class it needs to call. This most commonly happens if you create the ad source in the AdMob UI, but forget to include its adapter as a dependency in your code. This could also happen if the class name is found, but it doesn't implement the adapter protocol. To resolve my adapter issue, I had to import the Triceratops adapter in my project. For mediation partners that have pre-built adapter libraries, make sure to add those binary dependencies to your project. For my custom event, I had to create a sample custom event class that implemented the adapter protocol. Now I can relaunch Ad Inspector, navigate to the Adapters tab, and see that my adapter not found errors were resolved. Also double check that your adapter versions match. All of Google's official third-party adapter versions have the first three digits match the SDK's version. For example, if the SDK version is 7.3.2, the adapter should match that version of 7.3.2 with the release number after that. This is the best way to make sure the adapter is compatible with the third-party SDK. Now that you've validated your adapters have been installed correctly, you're ready to test your mediation setup for each ad unit. Our next video will deep dive into mediation and bidding results and how to debug any no-fills associated with them. Check out the resources in the description below. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to AdMob for more technical content.